Is that somebody there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Birmingham, largest city in the UK after London, with a population of 1.1 million hilarious sounding people. No, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 that's right, what you're about to watch is two 30-year-old men attempt to cross it in its entirety without walking down a single road or canal. Sounds a bit mad, doesn't it? And you'll soon see that it is. But first, why? For many decades, Birmingham has harboured a reputation for being grey and miserable thanks in part to its heavily industrial past and multitude of 60s buildings and council estates. And while much of this concrete jungle has been demolished, much of it, as well as many of the relics from the Industrial Revolution, still remain. These iggledy-piggledy structures make Birmingham a great place for urban exploration, something that me and my brother Ben have dabbled in in the past. <laughs> Um, but these fascinating outings begged an obvious question. If you took all these tunnels, abandoned factories and railway tracks and combined them with all the shopping centres, public squares, alleyways, parks and all the little strips of urban no man's land that have been fenced off since 1996, could you create a completely road free route all the way through the city? The answer to that was almost. As many of you will have seen from my two previous Urban No Roads missions, there are a lot of fences in this country these days, and you can't really get very far without climbing them. Sunday had proved a good day to do so, for the most part. But as I excitedly began plotting a brand new Brummie route, I could tell that this one was going to be a real test. With more security, taller fences, crime-ridden estates, and generally more people around, including police, this was a definite step up from the Black Country mission. And one too many problematic obstacles actually deterred me from committing for a while. A couple of crucial tweaks to the route one fine day ended the stalemate, and I had finally forged a route that in theory should just about be possible. Just before we find out if I was right about that, there are a couple of technical points to clear up. Firstly, a no roads mission means that you can't walk down a road. Crossing roads is inevitable in such an urban area, so I usually give myself a 25 metre wide berth when I do so. However, because this mission had so many points where things were likely to go wrong, I decided to implement a translation of the platinum and gold system that I usually use for straight line missions. If we stay within 25 metres, it's platinum. If we stay within 50 metres, it's gold. Finally, as those of you who have met a Brummie will know, there are more miles of canal in Birmingham than in Venice, and because ours have footpaths, following them would be far too easy. And this is why canals were also banished from this challenge. That's all the boring stuff out the way, now time for the madness. Good morning, one and all, and happy Easter. We don't really know what's in store for us today and I think the proof in the pudding was just round the corner when we peered down a little track that I thought would be an accessible little back alley like this and there was a big private fence at the very start of it so I think that could be a sign of things to come. Mm -hmm. Very glad we've got gloves and um, well, we haven't got much else really, <laughs> to be honest. High we haven't got boots. We've got, we've got this, in case that comes in handy. And a, a, apart from that... Determination and will. Determination and will and dumb luck, to be honest. It's going to be grim today. I don't know whether we're more likely to be stabbed by a, a rogue needle or a, or a road man, <laughs> to, to be honest. It's... Uh, it's, we're going through some pretty gnarly areas. But supporting us today, we have Uncle Ed, who um, is, is here in place of Verity, who is ill. 
Well, she, she is a bit ill, but she didn't really <laughs> fancy some of the the incredibly rough areas that we'll be passing through. <laughs> rough, <laughs> rough areas. <laughs> ben, predictions? Stinky. Stinky legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and some cuts and grazes. Hopefully the two not mixing. Honestly, I give ourselves about a 30% chance of success. Oh. Be just because... <laughs> Just because I think someone could could just catch us, like trying to climb something. The worst case scenario, uh, you get arrested. Yeah. Please come. There is that, yeah. I lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be setting foot anywhere, Donny. No, you? I'll be like two blokes over there, mate. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> right, we've just left the border of Sandwell, I, I believe it is, and we're heading into Birmingham City Council and hopefully in five or six hours time we'll be popping out on the other side where the border meets Solly Hull, 10.7 miles away. Now to climb this wall. But what was over the wall? Well, a dirt track that hopefully led up to this derelict plot of land. From there we would cross the main road into the grounds of the retirement village which backed onto the secondary school which itself backed onto these allotments. Right now though, Nigel's turnips felt like a long way off. What's easiest Ben? We need to act quick. We look a bit dodgy. Yeah. It might be open, good luck. Right, we're going, we're doing it. Right, climb it then. I'm right behind you. Wait up. Oh, okay. Go. Yeah, down here. That's someone's back garden. I'm guessing it's up here. Oh no. Yes, this is it. I was so worried then that it would be someone's back garden. It's all right, just put all your weight on top. Nice one. I'm really glad that's over. Coming up now, we've got Harborne Residential Village. There it is. So it's the biggest old people's home you've ever seen. Ooh. Don't know what this piece of land was used for, but hasn't been built on yet. Oh, there's a door, was it? Try it out, Ben. No, no too good to be true. Mind those screws at the top. Yeah. It's a big drop. Is it? Oh, so much for mining the screw. Yeah, yeah, I know. Your fingers right there. Nice. Crossing our first road. Straight over here. Okay, this is where we do need to act casual, I think. What? Oh, shit. That's not good. Hopefully this is open. No, how do we get over that? I think we've got to go round. Or should we try and climb it? Yeah? Yeah, that's sound. You got it? Yeah, you got it. Okay, let's get through here quickly. Straight down here. There's going to be so many old people looking at us right now. And they are the nosiest type of people. And the most likely to report. This is an adrenaline inducing mission, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we've got a bad fence here, I think, potentially. Ah, oh, here we go. Straight over that. Yeah. Ah, I don't think we should have climbed that one. Because now we've got this. Sp 
spider, Ben. No, it's harder than you make you made it look. Oh, hang on. Where's the GPS system? Happy Easter to you all. <laughs> we did that in the nick of time. We did, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. That was great. That was, <laughs> that was good. That, yeah, that was quite intense. It was, wasn't it? Baptism of fire. Yeah, nice little testy first run. Got through it well. Now I'm very glad I'm not wearing boots because it's time to put Norway to bed. Beckham! Oh! No, meager. Power couldn't be applied. It's not, it's yeah. not everything. Yeah, yeah. It had to yeah. be accurate. Yeah. Why don't you have a go, Ben? I don't want to put a hole in the net. <laughs> it's time to see which brother is the true football player. Well, it, mate. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. And Ben does not play football no. one bit, oh, no. I can reveal. I think I've done four kick-ups. So, okay, it's not, maybe not as easy as I thought, because we've got to get into this allotment, and there might be a few old biddies knocking about. So, yeah, let's get over this fence. Let's just get over it. But just keep our voices down, because there's going to be people here. This is probably the most scenic part of Birmingham we're going to see today. I would have thought. I do love them a lot. Yeah, same. I love them. Very, but something very English about it. I mean, if we see someone in here, we can just be like, "Morning." Unless someone who works here. Oh. There's a big gate. Unless there's a big gate that's shut. Yeah, didn't think of that. That's why it's quiet. Let's go down this path. Past Nigel's dodgy ploughing. <laughs> I'm not sure, Ben, to be honest, whether we have to climb that gate, and that is tall. This is a big gate. Okay, so we can either climb over that. I mean, there's a gap underneath that. Should we do this? Let's do yeah, let's do the stream. Let's respect their, their gate. Yeah, but not their land. Oh yeah, that's all right. Listen. Careful of your yeah, bag. <laughs> Do not fling that back. Sweet, man. Huh? Sweet. Ugh, yeah. fried Rodri's. <laughs> As a reward for our early bravery and shooting skills, the next 1.9 miles would be completely trespass free. Starting off with a small wood that led nicely up to a former railway track. Careful. This one was a darn sight nicer than the ones I had to contend with last time. But on this railway line, I want to reveal to you um, a little special Easter egg, quite literally. And it hasn't been broken yet, Ben. Mm. It's a Cadbury's Dairy Milk Twirl Easter egg. But the idea is we're going to see if we can carry this with us the whole way without breaking it. What do you reckon? Fun. Um, I think well, it might be uh, sodden. Yeah, it true. Might, it might be like full of sewage by the <laughs> And then we probably won't eat it. Probably not. No, I, I'm, I'm rooting for it. I'm going to say it's going to stay intact. Confident, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, we've done some pretty heavy-duty jumping. Already. Yeah, we have. Yeah, you're right. The egg would soon be forgotten, however, because coming up after this pleasant pitch-littered park was arguably the most troublesome stretch of the whole mission. A string of alleyways would lead down to this abandoned factory site. Here, Ed would give us the ladders which we would use to climb in, but more importantly, out the other side. Because judging by this street view imagery, the fence that led down to the canal was not for the faint-hearted. After what promised to be an amusing canal crossing, it was up and into this thin strip of highly secure looking storage yard and once out of there it was straight into one of Birmingham's most dangerous estates and hopefully towards the city centre who was already beckoning us on. We're starting to see the city, the city centre now and hear the sirens. 
Right, we're going to take five down this putrid alleyway and prepare for this next bit of private property, which is uh, a factory. And I don't, I honestly don't know whether it's in operation and whether it will be fiercely guarded. Ed should be here. Oh, I thought that was a gunshot. <laughs> Yo, you want some Chang? Document all this. I'm writing a bloody letter to Birmingham City Council. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. It's feral. Yeah, you're as good as gold now. Steady at all times. Nice. Oh. Okay. I think we got away with that. And now we're into this horror show of a plot of land. Mate, it's been, it's been demolished. It's this over that. Gnarly. This is very gnarly, mate. It might even be impossible. We might have to kind of jeopardize the 25 meter mark. This fence, I don't know if we should try. Oh, there's a tree, mate. That's not so bad, is it? Shall I go for it? Yeah. They look they're like very complicated uh, yeah, spikes. They look like something out of like um. A dwarven mine on Skyrim. I'm not sure I 100% want to do this yet. Do they spin, by the way? Oh, mate, they're not even metal. What? They're not metal. <laughs> <laughs> there are actually metal spikes coming out, weirdly, but you can rotate them so that they're not pointing up so much. This is it now. Make sure every footing is... Is that a train? This is so handy, mate. This couldn't be laid out better, really. Okay. Oh, fuck. Watch every step, don't rush. Yeah, that's the tricky bit. Easy. Ahoy there, sir. Don't fall in, Ed. We can't come and help you, we can't move. It's quite busy around here, which should make it quite funny. Lots of joggers. Well, it's good though, because I thought this might be like quite rough, but yeah, it's fine. It's yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at all this old industry. Oh, hang on a minute, Ed. I forgot about that. So the last time me and Ed went out, it deflated. It deflated. And we, we ran to Halfords, got some tape and taped it up, but right. if we get halfway across and start sinking. <laughs> Your guts it's don't sound too good, Ed. <laughs> I don't think that's working. It's that is not healthy though, that sound. What's your idea, Ed? Well, these barges coming down, we could just say, mate, can you do us a big favour? Could you give us a lift to the other side? And he'll say, no, because there's a bridge right there. But then we'll say, well, we you're doing this challenge, where yeah. you've got... Maybe you'll say yes. Yeah, maybe. It's worth a try, isn't it? You can only say that. Like, sod off. Yeah. You're right, mate. Don't suppose you can take us across here, can you? Hey. I don't suppose you can give us a lift across the canal. I don't know, mate. I'm not very good at driving. Oh, don't worry then. Don't worry. <laughs> worth a try. I'd probably crash. <laughs> when needs must. Use your gob. That's my motto. <laughs> Don't pass out. <laughs> and, ro and, ro and roll in. <laughs> <laughs> That's not viable. So we're having to resort to this method. Three, two, one. <laughs> Is this inflated enough? Uh, I don't know, man. For two people. For two people. We might have to do one at a time, but... My thought is that that is hopeless, but this is the best we've managed to do. So far, so good. 
Well, yeah, but it's when yeah, I get now, this. Now it went in, I'm just kind of like, oh, it's just going to like fold over <laughs> you like a sausage roll. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it, man. Go for it. Maybe lie, lie down. Oh, God. Yeah, it's holding up nice, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're in. Mm. Lie, lie no, down, I'd say. No, no. I think the physics are, is with us. Do you? It's hard yeah. to say. Well, there's only one way to find out, but I think if you lie flat and spread your weight... I'll just go for it. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Now, now lie back. Look, that's it. Now lie right back, spread your weight. Yeah? Yeah. You're right, Ed. The physics was with us. It, thank now God. I'm just going to hope that that isn't slowly... It'll push me off. This is hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> Probably should have a life jacket. <laughs> Wait, sorry, you got that high vis. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is going to work? Well, I mean, when people fish, they go miles, don't they, when they cast off? Oh! Oh! Uh. <laughs> Tom, put, just pull it on land, pull the boat on land. Oh yeah, nice. Yes. This looks like we're setting up a really elaborate prank for a, a canal boat. Yeah. You got a paddle, yeah? Oh god. Lie. That's it. Lie, lie down. Just spread your weight. Oh, you're right there, Ben. Oh, the. Just, just crossing me. Just looks cosy, Ben. Yeah. It's quite nice actually. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Easy. No disasters today, Easy. unfortunately. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the show. Well done. That's teamwork. Calamitous, but effective teamwork. I watch my nipples break the lapping surface, the hill of my blotched belly rise and fall, and my pubes sway and explore the water from their roots like a gospel choir praising the heavens. Is a passage from the inquiring stories of Bland Man. Which is relevant, why? Well, Ben wrote this and it's hilarious. It's very British. Um, it's a short story chapbook, complete with vivid yet grotesque illustrations by Ben's girlfriend, Elena. And it's available to buy from their Instagram or their big cartel website. I'll put the links in the description so you can check it out. But yeah, my brother Ben isn't just a seasoned missioner he's a talented writer buy one now before they disappear or just give their page a follow and ben would really appreciate that back to the mission right ed we'll see you soon yeah, see you in a bit. i'll give you a shout we, we need to be down there oh. if we go down there and round that's more than 50 meters so i think we need to actually drop down here like, like here. yeah 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 that's doable isn't it yeah, nice. <laughs> we have to go up this. Hi. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Alex Honnell here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to struggle with that. Oh God, looks interesting what's coming up. Yeah, it's the next bit that's hard. Oh God. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> that is rock, isn't it? That was the hardest thing I've ever done. In other immediate news, we've got this. Um, it looks like a rail yard, the railway there, but I don't think anyone's gonna be here on Sunday. Should we find out? The thing to remember is that I know they're not inhabited, but at any point anyone could phone the police because pretty much everything we're doing just looks so dodgy. Apart from the canal crossing, which just looked ridiculous. Oh God. Yeah, don't make a racket or anything. And that goes there and that goes down there. Yeah, well, you get to work then. 
pretty in use, doesn't it? Game plan is get right to the end of this and then we just drop off this big wall. But the main thing is, is that we get to the end of it. If we don't get to the end of this, we failed. We failed the mission. There's a van there. Oh. I think we're all right, because that's sure. Let's move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been filmed, mate. I am. <laughs> okay. To the end and on the left. Let's get over this. Well, I keep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, keep going. Oh. My heart is racing so. That's way too high. We need to go down here. Tax quick. Oh, shit, man. The GPS told me that we needed to climb over this wall at the earliest possible opportunity so that we could cross over into the housing estate, something we were now doubly eager to do. The wall itself, however, had other ideas. Tom, we're not getting down that. Keep going then. He's not following us. With no time to mess about with a big descent, we had to climb further along than expected, putting us just outside the platinum zone. Targe from Come Fly With Me's phone calls, however, meant that police could soon be on the scene and we needed to flee it. Otherwise it's missing over. Somebody coming. Can't believe there's a bloke in there. That is so dodgy. I reckon the police could be on to us now. Up here. Oh. Hang on a minute, I need to check the GPS. Oh, f now it's gone. Oh, this is typical. Up here. Hang on. Somebody there. Let's just try it. Yeah, I think, I think we are meant to be around here. You're right, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> it's all good fun. Yeah, we're meant to be over there. Should we hop over this? Go for it. Oh, we got lost. Did you not get that? <laughs> no, I was down the hill. She was like, why are you walking through there? It's private property. Okay, we've got to presume now that that is over. We've got to put that episode behind us, not let it stress us out because we're now entering the city centre of Birmingham. You can see in the distance there the NIA, which is now called the Utilita Arena. That is the start of the city centre run, which is mostly legal, thankfully. There are a couple of clever little things we have to do, but that can't be said entirely for this NIA bit. We do have to scale a fence to get in there, which should be fun. Shouldn't it? Every time. Has Greg ever been chased? Two out of two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're past the roughest estate. Haven't seen a soul since that chubby worker. Got two options here to get into the NIA. We can go up that staircase there and climb over a, a metal fence to get into the works area. Or it might be that we can go down this path, climb up this wall and actually go, oh no. Let's have a look. Let's check it out. This is hard because it's all sloping. Why did they design it like this? Stora, eat your heart out. Yeah, that's doable. For you. <laughs> For ye. For ye. For ye, Mr. Shelby. Nicely <laughs> done. The only thing now is, is whether this multi-storey car park um, stairwell shaft is actually open. I did scout it out a few Sundays ago 
However, today's a different day and it might be a different set of rules on Easter Sunday. Moment of truth. You reckon it's definitely closed? 100%. Hold that. That's what I thought. Mate, it was open a few Sundays ago. Shit. We're gonna have to climb in there. We can climb up there, look. Yeah. Yeah? Bit dodgy. Okay. Right, we've got to be quiet now. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to go up, up, up. We've got to work our way to the front of this humongous complex, which is no doubt fiercely guarded with CCTV. No, I think try this stairwell. Act quick. So keep going up, I think. Yeah. I presume. Unless we can get through. No, let's keep going up. We're getting through it, aren't we? The day, slowly but surely. Yeah. It's like everything is just about doable, which is like perfect, really. It's a little bit different. Despite the initial panic, we were able to find a way up and around the NIA where our next phase could begin. Welcome to Birmingham City Centre. Most people who claim Birmingham is a shithole have never visited Brindley Place and the surrounding canals on a sunny day. And after the morning we'd had, I don't think we've ever been more grateful to stroll over its historic bridges. Funnily enough, that structure there is one of the earliest examples of things that me and Ben probably did climb on as a kid, exploring our naughtiness. And these steps. And these steps, yeah. And that fountain, actually. Yeah, yeah. Brindley Place itself and the little alleyways that serviced it delivered us back over the canal. Beautiful. And into the Symphony Hall, where me and Ben unearthed more memories that go some way into shedding light on our current situation. We used to do missions around here, didn't we, as kids? Yeah. We'd probably be here as kids seeing a show and we'd always try and just get as deep into this. And the back, remember with like Greg and stuff, we'd go, yeah. we got up backstage. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 we did. We used to get really deep into all these areas. We used to find it so exciting. Yeah, we got nicked. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're on, Nearly we're on did. Centenary Square. <laughs> Shithole my ass. The three fathers of the Industrial Revolution. Well, we did have to run at one point. Yeah, we, we got chased. We got chased by a um, pretty angry, but not too physically fit security guard. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, it was quite horrible, really, but especially for Ben, he doesn't like these. What are you on about? Like, kid, you were the one who fell over on your face. <laughs> we'll see you in Grand Central. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Yeah, we can't walk the normal way. <laughs> Crossing Broad Street. I do hope this is all doable, I've got to say. I've got us to go down here and this is an area where like it's a security and a fence it ain't good. Luckily there was a route through this cluster of office buildings and down towards the Queensway but it was here that our leisurely stroll would come to an abrupt end. Getting through the entire city centre without walking down a single road was always going to be a tall order and these two large buildings and their surrounding roads was the main sticking point. With no way past these other than straight through, any more locked doors or security guards would surely spell the end of this harebrained mission. Lots of chips on the floor. Ah, ah, I'm a bollock. Oh, mate. Oh, right, this is the bit where we have to try and sneak in to a massive apartment building that's about 100 meters tall and work our way through the innards of the building into the underground car park and out and we do so by entering that door over there should we give it a go ben 
Yeah. It, it could be another case of earlier where the door was open for me three weeks ago, but it might be shut now. Ben, can you do the honours? So we are going to have to wait. Hiya. We're going to have to wait for someone to go in and follow them in. This is bad, man. This is really bad. We've yeah. got our key. <laughs> Thank you. Get in. Come on. Okay, I didn't think of anybody coming out. I know, yeah. <laughs> Neither did I. Okay, we're in. I was like so over here. So I'm overly happy that I couldn't be suspicious. Oh, that was so suspicious, wasn't it? Oh, yes. We're following this car then to get out. That's what we're doing. Just run ahead. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. And right into another place which is hopefully open. The railway pub. It does look closed, doesn't it? We're, we're just dingy. How is this happening? <laughs> All of these things were open last time. No, it's, op it's open. We need someone to open this fire escape door, otherwise we're buggered. I'm trying to figure out if the staff would smoke here. So we can wait for a staff to have a fag, or we can tap on the window but they'll just tell us to come round. Maybe if we rang Ed. Ed, it's Tom. All right, Tom. Yeah. Have you no, no. Um, but we've got, a, we've got a bit of a mission for you. So basically, there's a pub opposite New Street uh, by, by the Grosvenor Casino called the Railway Pub. It's open, but the fire escape doors at the back, which were open the last time I came, are now shut. So we're thinking if you go in, order three pints, sit down, yeah. and then come and open the fire escape door at the back. Okay, come on. Do, do you think? Hopefully I can get through. He's coming. Yes. We're in, we're in, we're in. Get in. And there's a footy on. Oh, it's the Scottish League. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Ed. Cheers. Cheers for breaking us in. And so concludes the first half of this slightly unorthodox urban adventure. It felt like we'd survived by the skin of our teeth at times, and quite frankly, it felt unsporting of us to be sitting here supping on our watery carlings. We would soon get our comeuppance for all this though, with the arrival of the grimiest, most foul-smelling scythe holes Birmingham has to offer. Butterflies are going now. So it's right on your ass. <laughs> it's right. Ed! Ed's been collared by some people. What is this? That shit, mate. Come on, I'll give you a boost. Oh, that's not good.